Today's Gospel starts with Nicodemus visiting Jesus at night to seek answers to the nagging questions of the day. I consulted Father Rani Heraldino, my spiritual advisor, and he says that, historically, rabbis declared that the best time to study the law was at night, after the day's work was completed and the household was at rest. Practically, Nicodemus was very cautious to avoid association with Jesus, so he did it in secret, being a religious leader. Figuratively, it could be a symbol for confusion where one finds oneself in darkness needing guidance and light. We are in a dark night of our history. This pandemic has not been experienced in our lifetime, although there are a handful of who are still alive who have gone through the Spanish flu pandemic that infected 500 million globally, a third of the world's population at that time, and killed 50 million people, more or less, in 1918. Many are experiencing confusion and anxiety and are seeking answers of their own as they go through this dark night in their own lives. One dark stormy night, the passengers on a train were uneasy and anxious. The lightning was flashing, black clouds were rolling, and the train was traveling fast. Fear and tension were evident among the passengers. One little fellow, however, sitting all by himself, seemed utterly unaware of the storm or the speed of the train. He was amusing himself with a few toys. One of the passengers spoke to him, Sonny, I see you are alone on the train. Aren't you afraid to travel alone on such a stormy night? The young boy looked up with a smile and answered, No, ma'am, I am not afraid. My daddy's the engineer. Brothers and sisters, this dark and stormy night shall turn into day again. Let us find solace and comfort only in Jesus. Let his words serve as our hope. Remember, stars only appear at night. And God's promises shine brighter the darker the night. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, may your love for us shine brightly in this dark night of our lives so that we may see where we are going as we await to be born again in the morning of a new day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ.